What's up dudes, Boss Lobbies here for Boss Gaming and this is a tutorial on how to update your Executor Nandex right here to the latest version of firmware you're going to need a few things the Nandex up update cable find it on X consoles like four dollars, very cheap Molex power supply CK3 Pro or CK or CKI Pro. This is a CK3 Pro and this is the Revo model. So with this kind of model what you're going to need to do is there's two wires that you need to solder. Which I'm going to show you. This is first one. My camera will focus. This is the very end on this guy right there. I just put a little bit of flux on it. Stuck a DVD drive cable wire on it. And then to the bottom of that point right there on the back of it very simple really really easy to solder and once you have that that really took a long time for me to get uh, was having problems and didn't realize I had this version then next is you need to install these drivers for this just go download them install them I'm gonna go to device manager right now and show you what it needs to look like I forgot, I need to plug this guy really quick. And after you install your device managers for your CK3 Pro, you're going to get something that looks like this. Just trying to get the best view. Portscom.lpt. And you click down so it opens up. And this is the important part right here. I know I'm turned sideways and you'll probably be too. See how that says COM3? You need to look and memorize what that is called. So mine's called COM3. So then I go update or to this Flash Magic program. This uh, just type in on Google and you can find the link to that. And you're going to run as admin. And also, you're going to need to type in NAND Pro V3 drivers for your NAND X. And I'll show you exactly what to do from here. From here, you're going to plug your cable. Make sure you guys can see. DVD cable into your DVD and your Pro. And then this goes to your Nandex, right there, very easy, just put that in. Then you're going to turn this on. Oh, well, okay, I have it plugged in. go <clears throat> and you want it on USB not com USB then you're going to come over here and you're going to set it up exactly like I have it set up you're going to go to select device and you're going to select L LPC 2148 I'm not sure how well you can see that and you're going to click OK you're going to set it to dot whatever your com, th mine was three, don't copy mine because yours may be different. The baud rate is going to be 9600. Interface is none ISP. And this number right here, the M, uh, it's called MHZ12. Let me try to turn off some of these lights. Let's see a little bit better. 12. Then you're going to click Erase Blocks Used by Hex File. Click that. Then you're going to go to Browse in your NAND Pro files that you just downloaded. This is the only one that's going to be in there. Arm V3 Hex. Go ahead and click that. And check Verify After Programming. And then click start and it's going to go through this whole process 
and after it's going to say finished and you exit out turn it off and you have an updated uh, Amp Pro which you then use to do the slim or not the slim but the reset glitch which I have done right here uh, any questions please leave a comment